a fellow one time about these things. He said, well, Ruckman, he said, you're enough from another age. I said, I know that. I know I'm reactionary. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'd, I'd have done well about 1850. I mean, really. I don't, I think shoes are the devil. I get home, the first thing to get off my shoes, walk around the dirt. I haven't got stockings on right now. I don't wear them. I, I think electricity is the devil. I know it's the devil. Yeah, Telephone is the devil. Telephone is the devil, man. <laughs> Television, devil, telegraph wires, the, the devil, and the devil. <laughs> Car motors don't work, the devil got them. <laughs> Amen, brother. Now, I know I'm way out, of, way out of tune, you know, from another age, you know, that kind of thing. And that's true, but that's just, that's just why I am. And you take this, uh, this, this modern age, I, I just don't fit it. It just doesn't fit. Now, in this age here, these fake evangelists and all this fakey, fakey stuff, I don't see how a red-blooded man could watch that stuff on television for five minutes. Right. And a fellow told me, he said, well, Ruckman, you're kind of a, you're kind of a Jurassic period character. And he said, you don't realize what America is like today. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, you talk about your yard and your garden, your dogs and stuff. Do you ever start thinking about this? Most Americans now don't have a garden or a yard or a dog. And he said, they don't have any place to hunt. They don't have any place to fish. They're cliff dwellers. They're all stuck in these little condominiums, you know. And you, now, I knew that, but I just hadn't thought about it, you know. I've done personal work in St. Louis and Chicago, and every door's got a latch on it, night chain. They open it that far when they talk to you, do personal work. They're all prisoners. Right. They're all locked in. Right. And he said, uh, the average fellow in America goes to work and works a four-hour week and comes home. When he comes home, he goes to a little cubicle. Sometimes he doesn't even have a wife. Where he does have a wife, hasn't got any children. He don't have any pets. He's got a pet canary. You know, they allow him a poodle in the apartment. And so the guy comes home beat to death, and nobody knows who he is. Nobody cares nothing about him. And he just sits there all by himself in front of this boot tube and says, speak to me, comfort me, help me, teach me, you know, you know. Right. And so these fellows get on and butter him up bootlick them, you know, and we had to work for them in the army, and, and makes them feel good, see? Makes them feel good. 